All right, YouTube, this is Nick here. I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial, and this one is going to be on how to create this picture right here for your thumbnails for YouTube or any other social media site. We're going to create this right here, open the link in a new tab, and I zoomed in so we can see it better. Basically, what we are creating is we're going to create this rectangle with the words right here. I'm not masking anything out for this tutorial because this one is just going to be on how to create this. You can get fancy with masking out if you want and I can make another tutorial if you put it in the description or in the comments below. So yeah, so this is what we're creating. So first what we're going to do is I'm going to show you all the results. I'm starting off with this picture right here and it's going to end up with this like this for my thumbnail on YouTube. So let me go back to uh, Photoshop. And let's get started. Okay, so right now <clears throat> we are in Photoshop. And the first thing we need to do is get the photo. It's this one right here. And as you can see, I did take this photo myself right here for my watermark. And first thing I want to do is I do not want my watermark in the photo because it's a YouTube thumbnail. Right there is good enough. And I'm just gonna click that check mark at the top, and here's the photo in there. So first things I usually like to do is I set my guidelines by first going to view and you see rulers or you just press command R or I mean, yeah, command R on Max and for Windows PCs, I think it's still, yeah, it's control R. But anyways, the ruler comes up, right click on it, go to percent and you will now be able to drag out your guidelines to 50%. Hold shift if you wanted exactly and like basically 0 0.0 increments. If not, it will just do this, and it sometimes it'll be hard to get to 50. So just hold down shift and do it like that. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to click the rectangle in uh, shape right here. It probably will be usually a polygon tool, but you hold this down, click rectangle. And we're going to start from the 50%, that center point, and move it all the way to the edge. Boom, hold shift again, and it's perfect. There we go. And what we're going to do first is we're going to change this to no fill and we're going to change this to whatever color you want. And we're going to change the border to 15 points. Bam. So there we go. And what we're going to do there is I'm going to move this to the center. And all I'm going to do is add my text. We can add text anywhere. This one is going to be called Bangkok. And I am going to press First, I'm going to check the check mark to stop the editing of that. Then I'm just going to press this right here, which allows me to move basically my letters or whatever, whatever you typed in around and press Command T or Control T on Windows. And that will allow you to get the anchor point that's in the center to center that text. Then I'm going to click on the rectangle right after click the check mark. <laughs> I'm going to click on the rectangle and I'm going to do the exact same thing, Control T. And we're going to move this right here to the center as well. And then you can edit the rectangle to be whatever way you want. So if you want the rectangle to be larger, you can create that if you want. Um, I like it where the rectangle is almost close to the text, not crazy close, but just close enough where it still has, you know, some space or whatever. And boom, right there, we'll put that check mark again. And if you press Command T, you can see that the rectangle is a little off because I did a free form edit and I'm basically just set it centering it again so it's an um, exact center and we're good okay so technically at this part we are technically done with the tutorial anything else after this is kind of just to make it look better in general so what I'm going to do is I'm adding a new layer actually and I'm going to drop it below rectangle one so this is we'll just rename this X all right cool and what we're going to do here is this one is going to be my brightness and contrast. And then I'm also going to add a new layer as well. That is right here. And in this layer, this is going to be a gradient layer. So I'm using white at the top, black at the bottom. So when I click gradient, you can check it at the top left corner. So whatever you start with is from the left side right here. And wherever you end will be the right side. And technically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to darken everything down from like this building down to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this like that. Keep it straight. So the gradient layer is straight. And you're going to end up with this type of background. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to multiply. 
and then I can just leave it there or I can change the opacity to go where I want wanted it at. And with the contrast on top, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to play around with the brightness to get the color feel that I want and the contrast as well. Actually, contrast is actually, bam, right there, negative nine. And this, from this right here, this is where I want it. And if I want the bottom part darker, I just bring up the opacity again more. And... I think I want it around 80, 85. There we go. And there we go. So close on these guidelines, and that's our final image. This image will be used for one of my videos, and there we go. So this image right here compared to the one I made earlier almost looks exactly the same. Now, <clears throat> on this, if you have any other questions, if you want to learn how to about masking out, just put it in the description below. Yeah, I mean, the comments below, if you have any other questions, just let me know, and I will do my best to make a video on it as soon as possible. Um, and basically, that is it for this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe, and by the way, check my description out and watch my other travel videos. Thank you, and have a nice day.